Hello, my darlings. I have paper and it's Friday, so you know that I finally managed to put aside for a moment my joy at a, at a new Star Wars and watch Project Runway. And I am still kind of on a high. I actually, before I, I started this video, I watched, um, if you know Collider videos here on uh, YouTube, they are at Star Wars Celebration right now. And Christian and um, uh, Ken just made a reaction video. And so I'm like all a uh, flutter. It was a really good video. And they feel pretty close to how I feel about it. And anyway, that's another video. It's Project Runway time. Woo! Project Runway 17.5. We're on episode 5 of Season Blah Blah. Let's get that out of the way. Season 17. Before we go any further, if you love Project Runway like I do and um, you like talking about it and hearing things about it, watching videos about it, go ahead and, and subscribe because I'm going to do this every week. And also, give me a thumbs up. Thanks. And you know, if you want notifications, you can ring my bell. All right, I'm going to stop right now. You know what to do. Okay, so this week... They started the video, the video, <laughs> they started the episode by Rakan getting a text on his phone from uh, Carly saying there's some vans downstairs, finish what you're doing and get down there, you gotta ride. So they went to the vans, to a brownstone, and inside they met um, an awesome gentleman by the name of... Dapper Dan, but it's Daniel Dan, I guess, a.k.a. Dapper Dan. And he does, he's a designer of luxury streetwear, and he's designed for all the big hip hoppers and stuff. And so, you know, Jay-Z and all of, all of the awesomes. And so uh, everyone was oohing and on about him. And I've actually seen a lot of his work. He does really interesting things that I enjoy. So um, their challenge, of course, is to give them a fresh take on luxury streetwear make luxury streetwear yours make it something that you do and so they didn't get to go to mood uh they there was uh, sorry i'm jittery i'm just so jittery today Woo! i'm in a bit of a manic place and maybe i'll make another video today to talk about that um they just got to pick whatever fabric they liked out of a whole bunch of selections that were left in the workroom for them. And, um, oh my goodness. Oh, and then during the, during the, um, actual, uh, episode, really everyone was just getting along. You're starting to see the clicks forming. Everyone that's still there is making friends and, just really, it was mostly just camaraderie. There wasn't a lot of drama, that which, as I think I've mentioned before, is one of my favorite things about Project Runway. And when there is drama, you can tell it's just from nerves and exhaustion and working too hard. So you understand that it's a human reaction. And that's one thing that I, w I was thinking about while I was watching this show. And I want to point out now, before we get started on the review of the clothing, is that these are human beings and that's why Project Runway works. It's, it's a show that technically is about fashion, but it's not about just fashion. It's about human beings striving to reach a goal and to fulfill a dream. And it doesn't matter if your dream is building motorcycles or building a bomber jacket or if your dream is being a heart surgeon or your dream is writing a novel. I don't wanna get emotional because I do feel emotional about today's episode. So we're gonna breathe it down. Um, Project Runway works because it's presented at a human level. And always, even when the critique is harsh, the judges remember that these people are human beings. Um, and there are exceptions to that. And some of my favorite moments have been when, say, maybe Michael Kors has said something a little catty. 
but he always comes back with love on that. So I just love Project Runway. And I think that if you look at it, not just about a frivolous show about fashion, but about human beings striving to meet a goal, you can see the value in what, what's presented to you. So, and that's what I love about it. And honestly, this season already has been less on the <clears throat> in episode marketing and I'm so, so grateful for that. I am so tired of hearing about how this does this and we'll use this for this. And over the years, Project Runway became kind of a commercial. And that is when I started to get bummed out by the show. But at its core, it's always been absolutely my favorite show. So talk about fashion now the judges and I really didn't disagree that much this this season I think or this year or even this season there's been a few times where I've been like what but not very many um in the bottom this week we had Rakan we had Jamal and we had COVID I'm reading my notes. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. Um, at, and I'm sorry I touched my mouth. But it was genuine. It wasn't nervous. I actually felt a little... <sighs> Juicy? What's worse for people? Juicy or moist? Because honestly, I don't care about either of those. They're just descriptive terms. And I like language. So really, there aren't that many words that bother me. What bothers you? What language words bother you? And I'm not talking about curse words. That's too easy. Okay? Talk to me in the comments below. Um, it helps the channel. You know what? Engage with me. I want to engage with you. Um, and then the tops were Bishmi, Garo, and Venny. And honestly, I really agreed with that. Except I really also, I want to give one not so honorable mention and two honorable mentions. Um... I didn't like Hester's. I thought it was so lazy and so just barely passable. I just, it was bike shorts and a see-through skirt. I, what did she make? I, anyway, I just thought it was too easy and not cute. Uh, for my, my two honorable mentions, um, Renee, that was so badass. I loved everything about that look. It was so cool, but schlubby, but, you know, like tough, but comfy. I just loved it. And then Tessa's was chic tough, right? Just street and chic. And you know what? I'm just putting on what makes me feel good, and I'm going wherever, out for lunch and shopping. Uh, so let's get into... Oh, and you know another one at the bottom I didn't like so much was Sebastian, which I normally love what he did. But I thought it was a combination of like a brownie top, like from the Girl Scouts. And the bottoms were, I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. So I really didn't like that either. But for the judges, uh, Rakan was at the bottom, and I totally agreed with that. Venny was at the top. I think we've gone through this, but Jamal was at the bottom, Bishmi was at the top, Garo was at the top, COVID at the bottom. So the bottoms. Um, I agreed with Rakan because his outfit was just sloppy. There was nothing street about it. And the thing that I would like to say directly to Rakan if I could, he's always telling us how he's inspired by okay to you directly you always tell us that you're inspired by these farm women sweetie farm women dress like that because they're too tired to wear anything else and nobody wants to wear that stuff nobody wants to look like a farm woman inspire yourself by elevating the farm woman and not Celebrate her in a new way. That's all I'm saying. Because I love farm women too. I grew up with farm women. My mom is a farm woman. But she wasn't glamorous when she wore her farm clothes. 
Sometimes she was sexy in her farm clothes, but that's because she wore them tight, boo-boo. So there's a hint. There's a hint. That's all I'm going to give you. Um, the other bottom was Jamal. I, what was that? I don't even have a descriptive term for it because it looked like it was half party, like cocktail hour or tea time party dress and part armor. I just could not tell what he was trying to say to us with that look. And I honestly, I'm not sure I understand him as a designer. And he talks about how he's this and how he's that, but he never shuts up enough to show you. He's always doing, God only knows what, because it's not working on his outfits. I'm sorry, Jamal. I don't mean to be harsh. I love you. Um, and then the other bottom was COVID. <clears throat> First of all, he was in the wrong decade that was more 70 streetwear than current streetwear, except the pieces didn't match. Nobody's wearing culottes right now, so no. And nobody's wearing golden girl vests, so no. And that top might have been cute had you paired it with a slouchy pair of pants or, you know, a fly tight skirt and some boots. I don't know, but... <sighs> That was not on target, my love. I just didn't love it. So for the tops, and like I said on my honorable mentions, I really like Brene and Tessa, and I'm not sure that, I might have had them in my tops, honestly. I, but right now, we're still just focusing on what the judges are saying, and only a little on me. Um, <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. A lot on me, let's keep it real. Um, so, we have Venny. Oh, my God, that was so cute. That tight little skirt and that fly little jacket. He was embracing and showing off every curve she had. And she was flaunting it. And I loved every second of it. She was gorgeous. She felt gorgeous. You could tell. And Venny pulled that shit off. Yeah, I gave it an extra snap. Mm. Then we have Garo. Oh, oh. That tweedy, awesome, beautiful, sooty, long gaucho style pants, which are just gorgeous. They are, they were gorgeous. And that's how you do a gaucho to bring gauchos back, is all I want to say to the other dude. I'm sorry, <laughs> I moved on. That was awesome. And then with the, the corset dissension in, oh my goodness, I lost the word corset for a second. <laughs> it, oh, it literally took my breath away. Now for me personally, I think I would have taken this neck piece out that kind of, I have a thyroid thing. And so anything up on my neck kind of makes me want to, I don't like it. So I would have, had to remove that part, but the rest of that shit was fly. And then um, Bishmi, oh, 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 that beautiful jacket with that. Um, it was so funny that he thought that fabric looked like um, fast food fabric because I was thinking, I swear I've worn something that looked like that in a restaurant. So, um, but then he made it look like it belonged with the outfit and that those pants fit her ass like crazy. It was like pot down. Boop, 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 boop. Loved it. So, <clears throat> winners and losers. For our winner today, and I'm not going to say the loser till the end because I just want to say one thing about that person. Um, the winner was Bishmi with that beautiful uh, jacket with the big poofy sleeves and the, the shirt and the pants with the padow and well-deserved win. If it was me, though, I think I probably would have picked Garo because I think that is so much cooler and just so much more for, forward where we're going in the future. So that's, I think, why I would have picked him. But it's so close. They're just so beautiful. And also Venny's. Ah! Okay, so our designer that went home was covid and of course, you know that because if you're watching this and you haven't watched this episode yet, then you really just got spoiled. 
Um, COVID, oh, that outfit was just so not cool, but you are such a wonderful man. He's so sweet and kind and beautiful, and I just hope that you evolve as a designer and that with more time to work on your craft that you evolve into this butterfly that takes over the world because the beauty radiate, radiating out of your heart just it makes me want to live up to being a better person and and that's the kind of thing I'm looking for in the people in my life and you showed me what that looks like so I'm so sorry that you're out I'm sorry I would have sent you home as well I'm really sorry about that but that is how I feel about it and but I love you so much Mm -mm. and I'm going to be hoping to see more from you in the future. And it's just like the designer said, um, that they think that he needs time to grow, and I agree, COVID needs some time to grow. So addressing back to whoever watches this video, and you know what, who knows, maybe COVID will one day be scrolling through, and he will see my words to him, and <sighs> maybe it'll give him a smile, who knows. So that is episode five of season 17 of Project Runway. Um, honestly, I feel like I have another video in me today. I've got this crazy energy. I'm super manic. I think I need to talk about that a little. And this Star Wars thing, I just, I can't get it out of my head. And I think that might have something to do with it. So if there's another video today, so be it. Um, I'm trying to get to 300 this year anyway, and it's already April and I'm only at 70. This is 76, I wanna say. So yay, 76, but I need to get my ass in gear. So honestly, I think we need to finish out. I need to do as many vlogs as I can this month because I wanna also do, I'm scared to say it, because what if I mess up? But I want to do vlog every day in May. So I'm just there, it's out. I've already said it, I think, once on the channel, and that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to commit to myself right now. Vlog every day in May. So look forward to that. Please subscribe to the channel. You know how to help me grow this channel. Subscribing, chatting, sharing, thumbs upping, bell ringing. Do it. Mwah. I love you. See you later or tomorrow or something.